Fans may remember some of the iconic events in recent hip-hop history leading up to album releases and artists' private lives. Frank Ocean surprised his fans and his label by independently releasing Blonde right after releasing Universal Music's Endless, and Drake admitting to having a private son, all thanks to Pusha T. It's been a crazy journey for hip-hop fans. In recent news, Beyoncé showed off a very racy artwork for her upcoming new album via her Twitter page. So sit back and relax as we discuss the hype revolving around Beyoncé's latest announcement. First up, the run album announcement. Prior to her album's release on July 29th, she posted the alluring photo captioned, Act 1, Renaissance 729. Queen Bey sat atop a dazzling holographic horse while wearing nothing more than a structured metal bikini. She never fails to make us drop our jaws gasping for breath, does she? The superstar also posted the picture on her Instagram page with a lengthy caption in which she encouraged fans to find joy in this music and said that the album had given her the freedom to dream and escape. She said that the COVID-19 pandemic was a scary period for the world world, and making this record gave her a place to dream and find escape. Well, it seems like Queen Bey kept herself busy while the rest of us caught up on binge-worthy content. Up next, how long has Renaissance been in the works? Beyoncé talked about her journey with the album, stating that the pandemic was a period when not much else was moving. It gave her the freedom and adventure she needed. Her goal was to establish a secure environment free from bias, an environment where overthinking and perfectionism were not allowed, a place where one can yell, let off steam, and experience liberty. That does sound truly liberating to to us. It was a lovely explorational journey. I sincerely hope you enjoy this music. I'm hoping it motivates you to let go of the jiggle, ha, and to feel as unique, powerful, and alluring as you are," she added. The dance pop song, Break My Soul, the latest single from the Houston native, got its cover art last Friday. The last new track by Beyoncé was Be Alive, which was featured on the soundtrack of the Will Smith movie King Richard, which was nominated for Best Original Song at the 94th Academy Awards. Prior to that, she surprised everyone on Juneteenth by performing Black Parade. The song with the most 2021 Grammy Award nominations. Thirdly, sounds of the new album. Edward Enninful gave a preview of the music in his British Vogue piece, stating that it is the kind of music that makes you want to get up and dance. In a split second, he was taken back to the clubs of his childhood thanks to the combination of soaring voices and strong beats, he wrote. Music that inspires you, opens your eyes to many cultures and subcultures, to our people both past and present, music that will bring people together on the dance floor, music that affects your soul. Beyonce's photo shoot also provides some hints. The diva posed on a vibrant dance floor while wearing funky outfits. In another photo, she is seated on a disco ball. However, Variety claims that Renaissance will also include country elements, so this might just be a red herring. So, giddy up maybe. On Monday, June 20th, Yachts released the song, which is immersed in danceable sounds. Hip-hop singers are definitely getting into the house music scene with their danceable tracks. Or is it just us? Drake, we're looking right back at you. Followed by features on the album. Beyonce and the in-demand producers Tricky Stewart and The Dream, who previously collaborated collaborated on her iconic hit, Single Ladies, regrouped for the hard-charging single. While Beyoncé's husband Jay-Z does not appear to be featured on Break My Soul, he is credited under the song's numerous songwriters, as S. Carter. Bounce artist Big Frida also makes occasional appearances on the song. After Lemonade's 2016 release, Renaissance will be the R&B diva's sixth studio album. The album is anticipated to be published in several pieces or acts, though the details of its composition and scheduling aren't yet known. The singer of Be Alive predicted in her Harper's Bazaar cover story for August 2021 that her new album would herald a renaissance one year prior, following a period of global lockdown. And lastly, album art imitates famous painting? Beyoncé is pictured on the cover of the Carlin Jacobs shot album, riding a silver horse while wearing minimal clothing. It is strikingly similar to John Collier's 1880-1898 picture Lady Godiva, which features a naked woman who is prominent in Anglo-Saxon mythology. According to folklore in the 11th century, Lady Godiva protested against her husband Leofric's plans to impose a severe tax on the people of Coventry, England, by riding a horse while bare-chested. Damn, what taxes is Jay-Z imposing? When Beyoncé revealed the album cover, she didn't specifically name Lady Godiva or the Collier painting, but her Instagram message appeared to reference some of the themes of the Anglo-Saxon mythology. Several fan accounts on Twitter drew the Collier painting's analogy, and some of them connected the Renaissance cover to the moment Bianca Jagger rode into New York's renowned Studio 54 club in 1977. However, Beyoncé has a history, mind the pun, of frequently referring to works of art, historical art pieces in her previous music videos. She has posed with her husband, the musician Jay-Z, in close proximity to works by David Hammonds, Richard Prince, Derek Adams, Conrad Egier, Robert Pruitt, and other artists. She has also featured their works in her music videos. In other related news, first up, Jay-Z, Beyoncé, and more attend Rubens' party. The star-studded event, hosted at Rubens' $50 million oceanfront mansion, was inspired by Diddy's famed white parties of the late 90s and early 2000s. Hip-hop A-listers in attendance 
descendants were Jay-Z, Drake, Travis Scott, 21 Savage, Lil Baby, and more. Videos from the private party shows the Six God entertaining the crowd by rapping knife talk, and yes indeed, with 21 Savage and Lil Baby, as well as the dance influence song Sticky off his most recent album, Honestly Nevermind. Lil Uzi Vert revived his 2017 hit, EXO Tour Life, while Travis Scott performed his Astro World smash, No Bystanders, to pump up the tempo. Jay-Z was spotted rapping with La Flame in the middle of the celebration before viewing the 4th of July fireworks with his wife Beyonce, despite the fact that he avoided going on stage. In addition, Hope sent Michael Rubin's white party branded custom containers containing bottles of his Ace of Spades champagne. On July 4th, 2021, Michael Rubin, the CEO of the sportswear business Fanatics and, until very recently, a part owner of the Philadelphia 76ers, hosted his first white party in the Hamptons. However, a fight between Travis Scott and Meek Mill overshadowed the event, which featured an incredibly amazing guest list. We would have loved to see that go down. Up next, Nicki Minaj disses Ye. On Friday, July 1, 2022, Nicki Minaj performed as the day's headlining act at the Essence Festival. Thousands of her barbs were disappointed that her performance couldn't be watched live on Hulu, but the New York rapper still managed to make a memorable moment for her followers. When Minaj finally took the stage after a 45-minute delay, she opened with her little baby-assisted track, Do We Have a Problem, before moving on to crowd favorites including We Go Up, Did It On Em, and Bees in the Trap. But when her DJ played the Kanye West song Monster, which many fans considered to be her best guest appearance, Minaj unexpectedly ended the show. Minaj began, A monster though, but we don't f*** with clowns. The fact that Minaj did not perform Monster instantly sparked rumors that she and Yee had a falling out over his guest participation on Cardi B's earlier released Friday song, Hot sh Man, that was one of the iconic verses in her entire rap career. No one will be able to rhyme Sri Lanka with Willy Wonka like that again. Lastly, Kid Cudi announces mixtape. The Cleveland native revealed on July 4th the long-awaited A Kid Named Cudi reissues scheduled for a July 15th arrival. Original fan favorites like The Prayer, Man on the Moon, and Heaven at Night, as well as a fresh intro, will be included in the restored project. A Kid Named Cudi's release on Fool's Gold and Ten Deep was a turning point in Kid Cudi's early career. Because of the online hype that day and night generated, Kanye West asked him to tag along with him to Hawaii to work on 808's and Heartbreak and Jay-Z's The Blueprint 3. Within 14 months after the release of A Kid Named Cudi, Cudi had joined Kanye West's Good Music imprint, released his now double platinum first album, Man on the Moon, The End of Day, and cemented his place as a cult figure among his followers. A Kid Named Cudi will be re-released on streaming services in 2022, according to Cudi. The relaunched mixtape will also have its own vinyl pressing, he said in March during a virtual concert on his encore app. We can never get enough of the man on the moon. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Beyonce's raunchy album announcement on her social media? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.